Virgo, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Virgo, there is no gender in tarot. I'm using the true emotional oracle card for your oracle message and Circe's tarot for your tarot card reading. Virgo, I'm pulling on the sun sign of Virgo. Energy does flip. If it doesn't resonate, you can negate the reading. I have no problem with that. If it does resonate, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can negate the reading if it doesn't make any sense. I can be pulling on your energy, and if it flips, I can be pulling on somebody else's, somebody else that is in your energy. It could be a cross watcher. If it doesn't resonate, I'm sorry, I can't talk. If it doesn't resonate, you can negate the reading. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I have thick skin. But if it does, let me know if I've hit my mark. Give me a thumbs up. Virgo, phony, trickster, illusions, fairy tale. Hmm. Hmm. We got trickster. I don't like those phony people. I don't like phonies. What is with these cards? Somebody's a little anxious. Oh, Gladys Kravitz. She's phony. She wants to know everybody's business. she doing? Death rides a pale horse. Queen of Pentacles reversed, death reversed, and King of Pentacles upright. Okay, so we got a mismatch of the same. What is going on? King of Swords. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Could be same sex here. Let's, let's finish this. Sagittarian energy, temperance, peace and balance. You want peace and balance. So we got Gladys over there, minding everybody's business, okay? That's what she does. Nosy, busybody, not pleasant type of a woman. With death reversed, closing a door, moving on to something better. King of Pentacles wealthy, ethical, making sure that everybody is okay with their finances, and then the King of Swords, stoic, stoic, head over heart decisions and a warrior. So where is this, where is this taking us? Gladys is minding your business. Gladys is out gossiping. King of Pentacles is counting on, in the counting house, counting all his money. You're changing timelines. 
You could have been the King of Pentacles, counting all your money, moving into the King of Swords, or there could be two people. I don't believe that there is Virgo. I think whatever happened with the Queen of Pentacles, you change timelines from being in the counting house, counting all your money, going into a stoic warrior. No emotions, but you want peace and balance. Even if you have to ghost somebody to get it. I have my own ideas on ghosting, which I won't share. They're my own opinions. You're looking for balance. Again, justice. Justice is balance. Libra energy. So we've got Sagittarian energy about balance. Peace and balance. Libra energy for peace and balance. You have to ghost somebody in order to have this peace and balance. Five of Wands reversed. No tension. No arguing. No competition. Balance. Want peace. I've got two cards for balance and two cards, well, one card for... Uh, Two cards for balance. Temperance, peace and balance. Justice, balance. And then two cards for peace. Temperance, peace. Five of Wands reversed. No, no tension, no arguing, no competition, peace. So you had to ghost somebody in order to be drama free is what this is telling me. So death reversed. You're moving to a different timeline, away from Gladys. You're the king of pentacles. She was the queen of pentacles. She reversed. Whatever turned her, you had to get out of dodge, okay? You had to turn into the warrior, head over heart decision. You were the king of pentacles in the counting house, counting all his money. And then you had to go stoic, turn into a warrior with head over heart decision. Because all you want is drama free. Moving in silence in order to do it. High Priestess, you know the score, and your decision is you're moving in silence. You've got the clarity of the sun, happiest card in the deck. Took you time, blinded, obsessive thoughts, Eight of Swords, but that was a you problem. You didn't want to do this. You felt bound but it was obsessive thoughts. But this is reversed. You're out of that now. I don't know what happened between you and the Queen of Pentacles other than that she's a pain in the ass, but you're doing it and you did it. Is it because she's a trickster, phony, casts illusions? Maybe, you know what's going on in your life better than me, but you do have the support of family and friends for whatever is going on and why you made these choices you have support. You will have communication with Gladys. You will. There's going to be recognition, public recognition for you, for whatever it is that you've done. You're going to rise up and be recognized here. You're rising up, traveling along that timeline. You're going from a king to an emperor. And I have pre-empress energy reversed. Gladys is where she is reversed. She's not moving anywhere. Behavioral patterns are staying the same. She's not coming with you. She is not coming with you. I don't know what her issue is. We've got phony, we've got trickster, we've got illusions. The woman's got issues. Virgo, I'm going to leave it here. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form. If there's somebody in your life, male or female, that is some type of a pain in the ass like the Gladys Kravitz. All right? Thank you. See me next week.